What is the minimum amount of money you would like your man to make a year? I think six figures and above. You're, you, as long as you escape the matrix. Okay, escape the matrix. We got Andrew Tate over here in the yeah. house. <laughs> We're here at Model Volleyball, the sexiest event in the planet, and we here at Valuetainment are talking to the hottest models in the world on what they're looking for in a man, relationship, lifestyle, and of course, money. Let's get it. What is the minimum amount of money you would like your man to make a year? <laughs> huh. Zero dollars as long as he's driven. How much? Well, I wouldn't want a six-figure guy that was a douchebag, so I'm gonna stick with zero-dollar nice guy. I don't need you to make anything. Anything? At the end of the day, honestly, loyalty and honesty and compassion, like that is worth more than any amount of money in okay, the bank. Okay, so you if did. you had a loyal, compassion, honest, broke boyfriend, how would you feel? They'd be adding value to my life with those qualities, so I don't really need the money at the end of the really? day. Really? Hold on. You're okay with your man making no money? As long as he is working towards something. Because I could be dating someone in medical school who's gonna be a surgeon and they're broke. Gotcha. I don't care what the cap is. I care that they have a passion that they're gonna work for. You're attracted to ambitious guys. Yeah. Got it. I personally don't think I could put like a number on it. If I love someone, I love someone. There could be a situation where, you know, they might just be starting out on their own business and they might not even have anything. So with is there a number the in mind that you're like, ah, I'd like him to make at least this? No, because like, how can you put like a certain number on that? If I'm in love with you, it doesn't matter what you make. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's no number? I mean, is money a bonus? Yeah, but like, I don't know. I don't have a number. I'm making a thousand. I don't know the answer to this because I feel like I would like my man to be a little bit established. I'd like him to have some kind of drive. And often people who have drive and intelligence do have a higher income. So you just gotta be looking for the right people and you'll have you'll have all the boxes checked. I think they should have enough money for themselves. So like they should have enough money to take care of themselves and I can I should have enough money to take care of myself. So then we can come together and take care of each other. But if your boyfriend was uh, making minimum wage how would you feel about that? I don't need his money. Not at all, but when you go out on dates, does he not pay? He does, he pays. He pays for a lot of things. And, but I don't, I don't know, I have my own money. People, I think the number doesn't actually matter as long as both people are trying and working towards their goals. So like you can make 50K, I think that's fine. You can make 100K, that's great, you know? But for me, I'm not like a, oh, you need to make a million dollars. I'm gonna be your like not working wife, so, you know? As long as you're working towards your goals and you're leveling up and you're bettering yourself, yeah. that's what I ask for. I don't know how much ideally I would like him to make, but I know so my So you're just gonna ambitious. be broke. My man is ambitious and he's gonna be making okay money. It's still back to the money question. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Answer the question. When it comes money, What's okay money? Throw the number. Okay money is 120. Okay, now we have a I number. Like okay. Respectful. Now we have a number. Was that so hard? Either of you said a number. No. It's so funny. I ask, just give me a number. I hear stories, but no numbers. 80 to 100. 80 to 100. Now when you're married? 150, 200. Can okay. I, at least. 100K plus. 110,000. 110,000. There we have an answer, ladies and gentlemen. Somewhere between 100 to 200. Like over 100. Okay. What percentage of men do you think make over 100 grand a year? Probably like less than 50. Probably like 30 percent. 30, like closer to 10, 15 percent. I don't really care like the dollar amount as long as I'm comfortable and I can like not stress out. So what's out. the? But you got to give a dollar amount. So I have no concept. Yeah. I don't you know. Have no cons what? I don't know. Like so ideally, how much would you like your man to make? Six figures? More? Less? You okay? Probably more. Of course, over six, like six figures, over six figures. Like if you're a grown ass man, like above your 30s and stuff, I, a honey K a year not go cut it. Like, that won't cut it. You know what? I appreciate her. I feel like 100K, but I also feel like 100K is like, I don't even know if you probably the world that we're coming here. now. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, like, like, we already know. I feel like we're already so, like, like, like if we making it, like, is 100K too far fetched? <laughs> you tell me. <laughs> At, at least 100k. Okay, why do you yeah. feel like so uh, reserved when saying 100k? Oh, I don't know. I just I feel like I, I, haven't, talk, I haven't talked about this openly before. 30 grand a year. You okay with that? Oh god. No. Okay. So <laughs> there is a number. That is enough freedom. 100 grand a year. What's the number? I think six figures and above. You're, you're, as long as you escape the matrix. Okay. <laughs> escape the matrix. We got Andrew Tate over here in the. <laughs>
thousand. <laughs> well, if I'm making six figures, they need to make six figures, and I already make six figures. Okay, so, so you're making six figures doing yeah. what you do. Yeah. So there's no way you would date a guy that makes less than you or significantly less than you. No, and my boyfriend tells me all the time, like he's like, you need to make as much as I do. So we are kind of competitive with our salary. Your boyfriend is telling you that you need to make as much as him. Well, <laughs> I'm not trying to depend on no man for everything. Yeah. My mom raised me to be a very independent woman, so. I mean, you gotta have some money in your bank account. I need at least six Why figures. Okay, so that's what I'm asking. I don't have a set amount, but at least six figures. Okay, but that but is the set amount. I'm also amount. not six gonna figures. sit here and be like, oh, well, if you don't have that, you're yeah. not a good enough man. Because if okay. you, if you. I bring my stuff to the table. Exactly. As long as he treats me right, but no 30 grand. Yeah, literally. Okay. So, what amount? 200K plus. Okay, what percentage of men do you think make over 200 grand a year? Like twenty percent of the. How about like? I'd say like three. Four percent. Yeah. Four percent. Four percent. Well, I guess I have to look for that percentage of men. A million? Someone said a, a million. A million a year? Okay. What percentage of men do you think make a million dollars a year? In America, one percent. Yeah, less than one percent. Would you be comfortable signing a prenup when you get married? What is it? Yeah, in my favor. In your favor? <laughs> yeah. Tell me why. Yeah, sure. Why not? You would sign it? Yeah. I would sign a prenup. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't like ask for one, but if he asked for one, I mean like, yeah, I guess. I guess. The most diplomatic answer she's given all day. Oh, for sure. But we're probably gonna have to go and have these on the prenup because he's probably gonna have to sign part of mine too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have D1 babies, so. You're looking for an apple. <laughs> I need you to split it with me. You know how they say what's oh, mine is oh, mine? Okay. I, what's? I What's his You're, is ours. Yours mine is mine. Whatever he make while we're together, we can split that. I don't want to enter a marriage where we're planning a contingency plan. Whether I'm making more money, whether he's making more money, I want to go in that marriage knowing that if something goes wrong, we're gonna fix it, not quit it, and then have a plan for when we quit. I mean, I think if you're getting married, you're getting married, you're sticking together forever. So I think if you ask for a prenup, it's automatically a little bit of distrust. Because you're like, oh shit, this probably won't but work out, maybe not. But I would sign one. But it should be, no, this is working out. I'm dying with you. I'm growing old with you. That should be the mindset when you get married. And a lot of people don't have that nowadays. Divorce is very, Facts. way too common. You would not, why would you not sign a prenup? I just feel like we're gonna be together forever. What if you the That's rich what one? I'm saying, I feel like everything we've gotten to, it, like, it in don't, our relationship. It don't, I feel like it'll what, outweigh anything. What if like, you the rich love, one? And you'll see me in love, like stop. But like, what if you the rich one? Y'all stop matter talking, about money. he take I'm everything love, from you. Well, you know what they say, I'm that sorry, women in this But you're gonna need a divorce lawyer to make sure that don't happen though. I'd say yes. You'd sign the prenup. A hundred percent. Okay. It does, people think prenups are only to protect the man and his money, but at the end of the day, if you marry someone and they want to take care of you, they want to take you out of the workforce, then there should be a stipend set, up, set apart. That's a good you. point. That's a good because point. Because at the end of the day, you've taken care of a kid, you've stopped your career, you have no experience when you want to enter the job force, so. Yeah. Do you plan to divorce me? Exactly. No, but did you know that 70 to 80% of the time it is the woman that divorces the man. That's why he wants you to He's sign the protect. prenup. I mean, I would take offense to it, but I'd be open to the conversation of having it. Like, if it's necessary, and we both have like a lot of like personal equity and stuff that we have to protect. But I'd be offended at like him bringing up the topic. What are you bringing to the table? Baby, I am the table. I'm I the table. When I come, the table comes set. I'm bringing you love. I'm bringing. I'm. Most Let's talk about it. You, I'm bringing you good energy. Preach, preach. I'm bringing you it's good vibes. Okay. I'm helping you with your business. Don't forget you're a woman of God. I'm too much into right. you for me to not get all of it back. You exactly. know what I'm so you are the table. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's the table and oh, the dessert. Like the setting. Give me the table, everything. the long one. Wow. Like, well, all so there's the like a turkey on there, we got the stuffing, exactly. we got the mashed potatoes. Oh, yeah. Manifestation, first of all, I'm a fashion stylist, like, in Miami. I go to one of the top fashion schools. Do you think men care about that? It's the value of a woman <laughs> in everything. Like, so, how convinced are you that you think a man cares about your career and your money? Because in 20, like, 40 years and everything, I'm not going to look how I did, like, when I was 22 years old yeah. and everything. Okay. Like, some 22 year old who has like no knowledge and everything. She might look so beautiful and everything, but like whenever she's 60 years old, what is she gonna have to offer to the table? Uh, I know how to cook. Get back in the kitchen. Ooh. Yeah. Just 
for support. So since you're a 10 and you're only a four crazy, you meet this millionaire guy, what are you bringing to the table? I'll bring my own million. Bring your own what? My own million. Your yeah. own million. <laughs> I'll bring We're going to bring our you own You have a million, million in the dollars. bank? No, yeah, we're working on it. So right now, what would you bring to the table? Positive attitude. Dinner. A supportive <laughs> girlfriend. A high value, just, you know, good qualities, fun time. Did, did you say dinner? <laughs> <laughs> we got the crazy cook over here. Final word. I think you've crushed it. Yeah. You're a woman, woman of leisure. Uh -huh. You are the table. Explain to the people out what there the why point? you're the prize and the rich, successful, good-looking guy is not. Take, Take it home now, Aja. I, I, like, we're women. Like, we bring life into this world. Why aren't we the prize? Like, we have a portal here. Here. that brings life. That's true. I would not world. be here without my mom. That's yeah. true. But I also would not hear without my dad. So it takes two to tango. I have a little respect for the men out there. Thank you guys so much for the interview. Thank you. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you.